If you have a smart home or a smart device at home, this could include something as simple as a smart TV or a voice assistant. Some people have their entire homes connected, their lights, their garage doors, their alarm systems, anything connected to Wi-Fi in your home could qualify. If you have tablets or cell phones, and I think today most people do have those, or of course a computer or laptop, and let's not forget about wearables, smartwatches. If you use your cell phone or if you use devices when you're traveling or when you're out of the house, besides connecting to online accounts or social sites, it could be for something as simple as location services or maps to help you get around. It's almost impossible to find situations these days where people aren't connected in some way or another. So this covers almost everyone, anyone who's connected. Let's not forget, especially since the pandemic, shopping online and online banking. This has been something that's been so valuable to us just to get by during various periods. And now, even though we're heading towards a new normal, we'll likely keep these digital behaviors, especially some of the most convenient ones, like working from home or connecting with friends and family online as we move forward. Personal cyber protection is here to protect you from your digital risks.